I'm gonna have it back up. Locked in. This weekend warrior, it's a 37 foot. We purchased it in 2010. It's a 2008. So it's getting old now, but um, I love the floor plan. Seven foot weekend warrior, and this one I bought this from a CHP, and the CHP gave me a heads up. He gave me a little warning. He goes, "You need a CDL for that." I'm like, well, "What do you mean you need a CDL for a, a trailer?" It's because the gross vehicle weight on this is sixteen thousand pounds. Right here, sixteen. So once you go over the sixteen, you have to have a RV endorsement or a class A to pull this. So I told the CHP, no worry, sir. I have, a, I have my CDL, I have a class A. Okay, I, I guess he was out there on the highway, you know, cause he's a highway patrol and uh, he, he, he doesn't have a CDL. So, oh. so anyway, <laughs> I mean, I guess you can't give yourself a ticket, right? <laughs> you know, P only had it like for about uh, a couple months. So that's right now. It, this this facility right here, it's 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 big. We move our trailer out here because they were charging us a lot of money over there, almost uh, over three hundred dollars, right? Yes, three eighteen. Three eighteen, and right here, it's a way better facility. Uh, it's a little far from our house, probably about thirty minutes. But if we're gonna save how much a year to do this? Quite a bit. This is the truck that I use to pull my uh, trailer with. It's a 37 foot toy hauler. This is a belly edition. You can tell. It'll say in, in the uh, inside belly edition too. Trailer's high because I, I uh, flipped the axles. We were using it for a couple years going up to Pismo. And it used to cost us a lot of money. I mean, I burned, burned money like crazy every time we went on vacation with this. I burn like about eight hundred dollars of uh, fuel because I, I got I got two tanks in the back tank right here got a small tank for the generator and the big tank for the uh, for my toys for my quads my razor and on the other side I have a, like a little pump I was shopping for a fifth wheel I didn't want okay th this right here I'm, I'm good with about twenty twenty thousand. 20k on the fifth wheel but i uh i said no you know what i need uh 25k so i end up getting this almost brand new uh had it for years already i take care of it i cover it up winterize it i if i'm not using it, i take it off the uh, the truck so this is a 25k kurt and on the on the king, kingpin right here i had a drop drop it by dropping the keen pin by dropping that i got more of a more room right here to play with because the way i the way i was pulling this uh a long time ago it, the, the the bed and this was like this almost hitting 
So when I was going to Pismo and taking some uh, U-turns on the sand, I tell you what, it was pretty close to hitting the bed right here or shaving it. Yeah. So, so I had a dry. I, I think I ended up doing that last year, but when we when, when we went up to Sacramento, the, that one lake over there by uh, Placerville, what was that called? I had a fuel, and the guy that takes care of that a place, he showed me what to do. I had to pump the uh, prime prime the the fuel system in my truck because I guess they had that problem with these trucks going up there. And high elevation. High elevation does that. Last day we're uh, exiting through the gate and I took that turn too sharp. It was like a little hill like this. This right here ends up putting a little dent right here in my bed. Right here, you can see it. Yeah. It's got a little dip right there. Right here. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that or not. My truck does have airbags. The airbags when I when I first purchased this uh, nice looking trailer right here. But my first trailer was a Raptor. The Raptor was real heavy, it had uh, two sliders. Yes. And I wasn't happy with it because I wanted like an open garage. This is an open garage. The Raptor had a, a 12 foot garage or was 12 foot or 14, I can't remember. What. I think it was 12. And it was just enough room just for four quads. So with this one, it's an open garage. I could put my razor and three quads. I might have to stand one of them. Yeah. So if I don't have to stand one of them, I could put the razor and two quads. It's got the big frame right here. You see the frame right there? Look at the frame over here. Look at, look at this frame. Okay, with, with the new frames, you got the more of a square tube frames. This looks like, like a semi trucks frame or a Dodge 5500 frame, to tell you the truth. Yeah. So anyway, back to what I was saying, and this is a 97 and a half model. And how many miles do you have on it, roughly? Pretty close to 100. Always double check your uh, when, whenever you hook up your trailer to your fifth wheel. Because you might think, just because you gave it a little tug, you might not be hooked up. On my, my current right here, every fifth wheel is different. This one, the, the claws are supposed to meet like this. Other ones, they meet like, like this. So get to know your fifth wheel, grease them up, maintain them. Because if you don't if you don't maintain these fifth wheel uh, the correct way, you lose your your cargo, your trailer. I have any questions about hauling a your trailer or your toy hauler or your RV? Well, no, not the RV, but any of these trailers. Now he's been doing it for quite a bit of years, um, so he may be able to help you answer any of those questions. Is he's putting? He's installing this little solar unit. And this actually maintains the batteries pretty well. He has, how many batteries? You have six, uh, four, four, six volts? Four, six volts. Yeah, he has four, six volt batteries. And this one little solar panel will maintain those batteries to keep them nice and charged. Or he keeps it covered to, um, you know, protect the fifth one.